Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discuss about the solution of the one problem on second law of thermodynamics. The numerical is that a heat engine working on a Carnot cycle absorbs heat from three thermal reservoirs at 1000 Kelvin, 800 Kelvin and 600 Kelvin respectively. The engine does 10 kW of net work and rejects 400 kJ per minute of heat to the sink at 300 Kelvin. If heat supplied by the reservoir at 1000 Kelvin is 60% of heat supplied by reservoir at 600 Kelvin. Find the quantities of heat supplied by each reservoir. From all the three reservoirs, what quantity of heat supplied that we have to determine. That we can explain by using the this sketch of the heat engine. Okay, this is the heat engine which is receiving the heat from the three reservoirs. That is one is at 1000 Kelvin, that is the source, another one is at 800 Kelvin and third one is of 600 Kelvin. Here we will take for our convenience the heat supplied by the 600 Kelvin is taken as the Q1 and heat supplied by 800 Kelvin is taken as Q2 and heat supplied by 1000 Kelvin is the 60% of the heat supplied by the 600 Kelvin. Therefore, that can be taken as the Q3 or that can be written 60% of the Q1 that is a 0.6 of Q1. Then here the 10 kW of the net work output from the heat engine we are going to get as the W is equal to 10 kW. And here the Q4 amount of heat is rejected to a sink of the 300 Kelvin. And that Q4 value, the whatever the heat rejected to a sink is given, that is a 400 kJ per minute. And these given data you can mention here, the given data are T1 is 600 Kelvin, T2 800 Kelvin, T3 1000 Kelvin. Okay, T1, T2 and T3 we can take. The T4, this is 300 Kelvin sink temperature, W is the work output, we have taken the 10 kW, is given. The Q4 is the heat ejected, that is a 400 kJ per minute. What we have to find in this numerical, that is the quantity of heat supplied from each reservoir, from all the three reservoirs we have to find, that is a Q1, Q2 and Q3. Then here, the whatever the heat supplied, given is that in terms of kJ per minute and work output is given in terms of the kilowatt. In only one uniform unit you have to use the, for both work and the heat. Either we have to convert the heat rejected the whatever given 400 kJ per minute into kilowatt or we can convert the 10 kilowatt of the work output in terms of the kJ per minute. One common unit we have to convert. Okay, then we have to continue for the calculation. And here we convert that is a, uh, better to convert that one, the kilowatt in terms of the kilojoule per minute. Okay, here that 10 kilowatt, the watt is joule per second, then joule per minute, if you want to take, we can multiply with the 60. The 10 into 60, whatever the 600 is that, that is kilojoule per minute. Okay, the work output W, whatever is that, it will be given as the 600 kJ per minute. Then, for convenience, what we have taken that, we can write here, let Q1 be the heat absorbed by the engine from the source of at 600 Kelvin. Then, heat absorbed from the source at 1000 Kelvin is 0.6 of Q1. Then, from the classes inequality for a reversible heat engine, Okay, the engine, whatever we have taken, there is a reversible heat engine. And if you apply the classes inequality to that, that is the whatever the given from the classes inequality, there is a cyclic integral of delta Q by T is equal to 0. Delta Q is the other uh, change in heat transfer to its temperature is equal to 0. Okay, the cyclic integral we have taken. The summation of all the heat transfer okay to the temperature ratio is there that is the cyclic integral we are going to get have and that is equal to zero and here the the first one for the 
thousand or can we heat source whatever the heat transfer is there it is a 0.6 of q1 and by thousand temperature this is the q whatever is there in the numerator and the denominator temperature is taken plus of the q2 we don't know and we have to take the temperature 800 kelvin plus of q1 by 600 minus of there is a q4 there is a q4 whatever is there it is a 400 by 400 by 300 its temperature t4 the temperature it directly it is substituted with q4 by t4 that is equal to 0 as per process inequality and that is taken as the equation 1 and here we are having the q1 and here also we are having the q1 in the third term the q2 we don't and here we can the q2 we can substitute in terms of the q1 that is by having the energy equation the energy equation from that we can take that here also given by the energy balance equation that energy balance equation whatever is there there the all the heat supplies okay the addition subtracted by the heat rejected equal to that whatever the network output we are having okay that is whatever the three heat supplies are there 0.6 q1 plus sub q2 plus sub q1 that is from the 600 kelvin source okay minus of the whatever the q4 is there that is a 400 kilojoule per minute it is given that is equal to the network output that is 600 kilojoule per minute all the terms we have substituted in terms of the kilojoule per minute and from the simplification of this equation we are going to get that is q2 is taken outside and this 0.6 q1 plus of q1 equal to 1.6 q1 and this side if you send this 400 600 plus of 400 will become say 1000 and q2 we want from this equation okay as we want to substitute in the classes inequality equation that's why the q2 can be given as q2 is equal to 1000 minus of 1.6 q1 this is taken as the equation 2 and it this equation 2 is substituted substituted in the equation 1 substituting in equation 1 the equation 1 is 0.6 q1 by 1000 first step plus of q2 is there the q2 value will be taken from the equation 2 that is 1000 minus of 1.6 Q1 thousand minus of 1.6 Q1 one is missing here is a 1.6 Q1 that is by 800 its temperature plus of Q1 by 600 third term minus of the Q4 by T4 that is a 400 by 300 equal to zero and here again if you simplify this one okay here from all the terms we are having the Q1 okay then uh, we can take the LCM of all the whatever the denominator values are there then we can take them this other values whatever the constant values are there other side we can take that is first term as it is we will write 0.6 q1 by 1000 minus of this is 1.6 q1 by 800 ok that plus of that is q1 by 600 that is equal to 400 by 600 and this whatever the 1000 by 800 term is there it is a positive term and that term will be sent to this side and these two these two values 400 by 300 and 1000 by 800 values will be sent to on the right hand side as 400 by 300 negative values that it will becomes a positive other side and this is a positive values that 1000 by 800 that term will be 1000 by 800 we can send then we will see about all the denominator terms from the Q1 that is 1800, 600 will be the 12,000 12,000 will be the LCM and here the 1000 is the 12,000 means we have to multiply this with a 12 12 into 0.6 Q1 minus of this 800 is the to get the 12,000 we have to multiply with a 15 that is a 15 into 1.6 of Q1 plus of 600 should be multiplied uh, to uh, multiply the value to get the 12,000 I will say in that one that is the 20 20 into Q1 ok is equal to 
this term is this is taken as the 4 by 3 and this is taken by the 10 by 8 and we can send this 12,000 to this side and the cumulus is taken as a common from all the these values then we can solve it then after solving this equation we can get the q1 equal to 312.5 kilojoule per minute which is from the source at 600 kelvin the q1 we have taken from the source of 600 kelvin this we got then whatever the q1 if you got that one then if you substitute the q1 in the equation 2 then we can get directly q2 from it as the q2 is equal to 1000 minus of 1.6 q1 okay that is 1000 minus of 1.6 into 312.5 that is equal to 500 kilojoule per minute that is from the source at 800 kelvin then q3 already we know that one q3 equal to 0.6 of q1 or 60 percent of the q1 or a heat supplied from the 600 kelvin source then that is 0.6 into 312.5 that will become say 180 1.5 kilojoule per minute that is from the source at 1000 kelvin and here in this numerical that is whatever the heat supplied from the all the three sources okay that values we need to find out we have determined all the values of the heat transfer from the three sources of the uh, uh, whatever uh, heat engine okay the three sources of the heat engine okay in this way we can find the whatever the heat supply for the engine by using the classes inequality and the energy balance equation thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment on the